Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton and Mauvais, and I've just been sifting through some of my miscellaneous Marvel stuff that I've gotten in some of these massive collections, and um, came across a bunch of Marvel Age. And I'm not terribly familiar with Marvel Age. Um, they're not really comic books. I got issue 75, 76, um, issue 81. I mean, they've got ads in them. They've got a bunch of story stuff. It's basically kind of like early editions, like like before Wizard, there was this kind of stuff. And this is how you knew what was going on in the comic book world. And it's a lot of reading. <laughs> That's some heavy reading. Um, but there, there's all the new mutants that they're working on. I take it this is before that time. And yeah, I just thought they were really cool. And like I said, uh, it's not a comic book. And that's where I just found out there's like a, a dilemma of if somebody first appears in one of the in one of these, does that count as their first appearance or is it not? I had never heard that debate, and that's probably why I, I decided to dig through them. And so you've got like I can't remember what comic this is that they're previewing, but if the character first appears in this preview and then comes out in the comic later that month, does that mean that this was their first appearance or was that comic their first appearance i don't know it's a whole thing i just found out that this is an actual discussion i can't remember whose video uh they were talking about it but i found it interesting thank you to whoever was doing that um so yeah just there's the whole issue that's kind of what marvel age does um that type of deal so i was pretty pleased to see that i had a few got 81 got 82 Trying to think what year these are. You know what? I'm just gonna crack this one open because I want to remember what year. Uh, 1989. A little later than I thought. I was hoping for like earlier 80s. Uh, there's Marvel Age number 83. Some of these had great covers. I'll give them that. That's a cool cover. Namor in 84. Um, that is a wacky cover. This looks like peppermint, and that has nothing to do with Gru, but I guess if he's slaughtering elves, it does. Uh, there's issue number 84. Got issue number 86. Um, it's a cool cover, but the art's kind of, I don't know, wonky. It's not the most awesome. Um, I like that cover, number 80. Uh, number 79. Issue number 77. I also found out I have a bunch of like weird late 80s, early 90s mini series that have been piling up um, from these collections that I buy. Um, I got Eternals number one, number three. This is kind of late bronze stuff, but I still think the I still think the covers look fantastic. A lot of strange mini series is um, Quest Probe. What <laughs> what? Whatever that is. I almost thought for a second that was the Ninja Turtles over there. That would be awesome. Uh, looks like I got two issues of Quest Probe. Uh, Quest Probe number one. Yeah, I don't... I have no idea what these are. You know what? Let's crack one open or I'm going to be curious. Just what is a Quest Probe? Is it like a series with a couple stories in it? What is this thing? All right, so it is, I guess it's just a regular story. I didn't know what it was exactly. I didn't know if it was like a, you know, where it features the human torch and the, the thing. I didn't know if this was like a, like a Marvel Comics Presents type mixture book or what it was, but looks like it's just that. So uh, I got the Defenders, number 121. Um, the Gargoyle, number two. Number four. Number three, number three, looks like an incomplete miniseries. I got Firestar number one, that's pretty cool. I'm excited to have that. Uh, Spider-Man the Mutant Agenda zero. Spider-Man the Mutant Agenda one. Spider-Man Mutant Agenda number two and number three. Looks like I got Three issues of a Punisher miniseries. 
That's pretty crazy looking. One, two, and three, it looks like. They got Mephisto versus the Fantastic Four. It's got a real bad roll in it on the spine. But I got one and two. I don't know. I, I guess it's now it's him versus X Factor. Okay, well, I don't know nothing about those either. Squadron Supreme, issue number 12. Issue number seven. Issue number nine, which I really like that cover. That's funky. Uh, Squadron Supreme, number 10. Another issue of seven. Issue of six. And I think this is Hyperion. I think that's his name. I can't remember. Issue number five. Issue number two. These look interesting. Dude, I really like that cover. Issue number four, Lady Lark. Uh, Squadron Supreme, number one. Galactus the Origin. I'm pretty sure I've come across this book before. Um, DC Comics presents Superman and Supergirl against the Mongrel. US Agent, one of four. U.S. Agent 2, 3, 4. Also a Nightcrawler miniseries, which is pretty cool. Yeah, those look awesome. Let me back my camera up just a touch to accommodate everything. Uh, 3. Oh, it looks like I got the whole one. And Nightcrawler number 4, so that's pretty good. Beauty and the Beast. This, of course, being a Beast miniseries. And it looks like I have all of that, too. That's pretty cool. Pleased with that. Balder the Brave. Uh, this is one of Thor's brothers. I got four, one, two, and three. So I've got the full series of that. That's nice. Hawkeye number one. Hawkeye two, three and four. That's nice. Another full little mini series. Oh, I got one issue of Hercules. That's it looks like about it. Uh, the Micronauts issue number seven. Issue number 10. 11. Defenders 148. Defenders 150. Those are good covers. Defenders 151, it's like Valkyrie. Uh, 152 seems to be the last issue. That's kind of sad. The end of the new Defenders. It's always sad when you see the last issue. Issue 126. Defenders 128. That's a really cool Valkyrie cover. Issue 133. I'm pretty pleased with that one as well. 138, 149. And it looks like a little Iron Man Bad Blood, part one of four. Uh, two, three, four. So I got that mini series. I just found that I had a lot of little mini series, and I was really pleased about it. Anyway, these are cool, but they're not near as cool as these Defenders covers. I really, really enjoy those. So anyway, there's there's just me digging through some old Marvels. Um, there's many series that I know I've been sitting on for ages and just haven't gone through, or I've probably hit a couple of these before. Um, but I always, I, they're just cool. And I, I'm always pleased when I find out that I have complete little mini series. Otherwise, if I've only got like three issues, you know, it seems like you're always missing issue number three is the big one. And that is a pain. But... Uh, some of these little one shots and like a 12 issue mini series that just cracks me up because you know there's so many series nowadays that don't even run four issues don't even run three issues they get canceled in their third issue and that's sad and it's a sad state on the comic book uh industry but anyway that's that's what i was looking at today and that's pretty much my story and as always thank you guys for watching and i will catch you later bye